Okay, with question number seven, now we have entered into the next segment, and here there are no options, but you need to fill up the value. And the values would be anything like till two digits after decimal, and even negative values are allowed. So it could even be a five digits answer with three digits before decimal and two digits after decimal. If you read the instructions properly in the question set, you would be understanding that. The same pattern was also followed in paper one. Now here, a solid horizontal surface is covered with a thin layer of oil. That means now a viscosity is there. Rectangular block of mass this much is at rest on its surface. An impulse of one Newton second has been applied there to the block at time t equals to zero and it starts moving with this velocity. Notice at t equal to zero, velocity is v naught and with time, the velocity decreases exponentially. Expected when there is a viscous medium. And tau has been given, that's a constant. We need to calculate the displacement of the block in t equals to tau, that means in one time constant, if at all we can call this because it's fine, it's matching with the regular pattern. The first thing is C, if I just understand, J would be equals to M V naught minus of zero because just before application of impulse, the velocity is zero, just after the application velocity becomes this much. J is there which is one Newton second, M is 0 0.4 multiplied by V naught and this option gives me V naught equals to 2.5. So now I can calculate the you know initial velocity here and since V is given as V naught e raised to the power minus t by tau and you need to calculate the displacement. So the displacement would be the simple integration of this thing and this displacement is integral v dt from the limit 0 to tau. It's a simple integration and even e raised to the power minus 1 is given. Even if this had not been given as a normal aspirant, we remember this value. And when you calculate this thing, you get this to be 6.30 meter. So that is going to be the correct answer for question number 7. All right, now it's time to go to question number eight. Question number eight, a very simple, so it should rather be taken as a compliment and it would be acting as a moral booster for those who were solving in the examination hall. A ball is projected from the ground at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. It reaches a maximum height of 120 meter and returns to the ground. Upon hitting the ground for the first time, it loses half of its kinetic energy. Immediately after the bounce, the velocity of the ball makes an angle 30 degree with the horizontal, the maximum height it reaches after the bounce. Okay, the situation is something like this. If I draw a rough sketch of that, it comes something like this. Let's see. Initially, it has been thrown and the maximum height that it reaches is 120 meter and the angle of projection through which it goes is 45 degree. Now let us say the speed is u. Here the angle it makes after the first rebound is 30 degree and it also says that the kinetic energy after the first rebound is half. That means the speed has to be u by root 2. Reason being very obvious because if it's thrown with u, it returns with u and once it rebounds, it has to go with u by root 2 because the particle loses half the kinetic energy. And we need to calculate the maximum height in the second situation. All right, in the first situation you could see 120 meter is u square sine square theta. So that will be 2 into 2g. That's equation number one. In the second case, we need to calculate h and that would be u square, so that's u square by two, sine square theta, so that's going to be one by four multiplied by two g. Now, just to calculate h from these 
two simultaneous equation is not a problem, right? And that is going to be, if you divide it, that will be 30 meter. So the correct answer for question number eight is going to be 30.00 if you wish, or 30 is the correct answer. Right then, let's move to question number nine. Okay, question number nine, a very straightforward question from kinematics, or you can also solve it with equal ease by comparing with the general format of simple harmonic. It says something like this, a particle of so much mass and charge is initially at rest. At time t equals to zero, the particle comes under the influence of this electric field. So this will subsequently give us the force. The value of E naught has also been given. The angular frequency is also given. Now the force is directly proportional to sine omega t. So it's a clear indication the motion is simple harmonic. Considering the effect of only the electrical force, then the maximum speed has to be calculated. Well, you can do it by comparison with SHM and eventually the maximum speed is going to be A omega. Or you can also solve in this particular way, let me solve in this way, that the acceleration is Q E naught sine omega t divided by m. So that's the acceleration. And let us calculate the speed that dv is going to be q e naught by m sine omega t dt. And then t equals to 0, speed is 0, t equals to t, the speed is v. Okay, now on solving this, you get v is q e naught by omega times m into 1 minus cos omega t. And you could see that the speed is varying in this particular way. And the question demands the maximum speed. It is not interested when is the speed maximum. All it is interested is what is the maximum speed. So when I get v max, the value of v max would be, this is going to be 2 for maximum because this would be minus 1 and that now comes out to be 2 q e naught divided by m omega. You just put the value of q e naught by m omega, that comes out to be 1 and eventually the maximum speed comes out to be 2 meter per second. So here the correct answer for this will be 2.00, that's the maximum speed during the course of its motion. Right then, let's move to the next question.